Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over my favorite things of May. I was going to say March, but oh my God, we're already in May. It's totally fine. So of course, to go with my monthly favorite things, I had to wear my favorite necklace, my favorite headband. Yes, it's Michael Scott and drink out of my favorite water glass. Ignore that piece of hair there, please. We're gonna start today with my favorite lipstick. I have been wearing this lipstick every single chance that I have got since I bought it about, I don't know, a month ago, maybe a month and a couple of weeks. I think I wore it in my last three or four YouTube videos. I'm wearing it today. I just went to a baby shower last weekend and I wore it. I'm wearing it as much as possible because I love it. I'm finding that it's not coming out on the video as pink as it is in person. So maybe I'll put it against some white paper. I'll show you guys what it'll look like, what it more looks like in person. But oh my God, I just love it. It is like the most beautiful pink. It's like vibrant enough, but it's not like, bam, hit you in the face. It hits you in the face, but like in a subtle way, just like a nice, calm, girly kind of pink without it being like, boom, 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 boom. yeah, pink. You know what I mean? I mean, it's even called the perfect name, trademark pink. I'm kind of like, yeah, I want this lipstick to be my trademark because it's perfect. You know, I love it. I think it's from their creme lipstick line. They have a couple of different lipstick lines. I don't really follow the different types of lipsticks. I basically go off of the color. They're all the same to me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this one's matte. Oh, this one's semi-matte. But they're all creamy and they're all delicious and I love all of them. Not delicious like to eat. Don't eat them. I'm not telling you delicious taste-wise. <laughs> but delicious is just the perfect word for me to describe this lipstick. I just love it. Uh, I just keep wanting to apply more and more and more. But anyway, this is one of my new favorite things. I just love it so much. And it goes with my nail polish, which is the next thing that I want to discuss. It is by uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. It's not like super thin. It doesn't really streak. I like to put on a minimum of two coats, maybe three. Three is probably good. It is a gel nail polish, but I don't do anything. I don't know if you're supposed to put it under a heat lamp or anything. I literally just put this sucker on and then that's it. So I love that. The color is Shockwave and it's 289 is the specific color. So I'm more of talking about both of these products because I love the color so much. Yes, this lipstick feels great. Mwah. It is creamy. It's comfortable. It's not drying out my lips. Sometimes I forget that I'm wearing it and it seems to last a long time because I left my lipstick in the car at the baby shower and I asked my friends, I was like, after dinner, I was like, oh shoot, I feel like I need to reapply my lipstick. Can you still see it? She's like, yeah, it's pretty much there. So it's almost like it stains your lips in this really nice way that you still have this great pinkish color even though say the actual lipstick is gone and you could kiss someone and not have the lipstick show up yeah you could see like you could see like a little bit <laughs> there but i think maybe at the end of dinner i wasn't able to do that but you could still see the lipstick color on me because it just kind of stained my lips in like a beautiful way and gave me more of like a natural pink like a bright pink you know what I mean so yes the feel of this I love it but I'm really talking about the color here for both of these but this is a product review video sort of so I am giving you a little bit more background this does not chip insanely like some other nail polishes I am very used to wearing instant nail polish like quick dry nail polish and of course I'll wash my hands like throughout the day and I could see it like starting to feather off and fade. This one doesn't really do that. Um, it's thick enough that as it starts to chip, I'll put a thin coat on the tips and then the next day or whatever, when it dries, I'll put another coat on top and you really can't tell. If you look at it in the bottle, it seems to have like a lavender pink glitter. I love that. But on, I don't see the glitter like at all. This is like, there's no glitter at all whatsoever on my nails. I would not know that there is glitter if I didn't like look at this bottle, but it doesn't come off on your nails, which is fine. I love the color regardless. It doesn't need to have glitter. <gasps> I know it's shocking for me to say it doesn't, something doesn't need to have glitter, but it's fine. It's one of my favorites. I love wearing it.
wearing it. People were like, man, that's some pink nail polish. I was like, I know, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to quote my favorite movie. I'm not going to tell you what it's from, but someone compliments me. And the response is, I know, right? Favorite movie. If you know what it's from, leave it in the comments below. I will leave you a clue in the description. So moving on, I did a one minute quick video, which I call a Kesha or a Keshi about this mixed nut butter. I love this mixed nut butter. It is so delicious. And yes, I mean delicious as in eating, not delicious like the other two where it was like feeling and color like mm, and It is so good. And one reason that I love it so much, aside from the flavor, the flavor is excellent, but it is on the front, it says mixed nut butter, roasted almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds. The ingredients, dry roasted almonds, dry roasted cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, sea salt, and that's it. Oh, doesn't that make you feel so good? It's not full of a ton of crap. There's no partially hydrogenated anything. There's no hydrogenated anything. There's no palm oil because like, oh my God, we all know like how the world is freaking freaking out about palm oil and how bad it is for you in the environment and all of this stuff. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have anything else in it. You can pretty much make this at home on your own if you got almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and a little bit of salt, and you put them in your oven, you dry roasted them. Oh, that sounds delicious. Wow. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet today. This is making me a little hungry. But anyway, I gave it a nine because I was like, well, to get a 10 out of 10, let's face it, you need to be peanut butter. But I really should have given it a 10 out of 10. Come on, let's be fair. Peanut butter is in its own category and mixed nut butters are in their own other separate category. So it was a little unfair of me to give this little guy a nine. I think it deserves a 10. He's a 10. And yes, I do have a backup. I'm also eating, this is the, the second one. So I just finished this one. I have one that I opened yesterday in my fridge and then I have this one as a backup. It was on sale. So I was like, well, yeah, let me get it now because I hate when I run out of this peanut butter, not peanut butter, nut butter. I hate when I go to use it. Well, peanut butter too. My God, I can't stand running out of peanut butter. Mixed nut butter, all of that is like the worst. Jerry, the worst. I'm going to count that as the quote of our day. Oh, does he say the worst? He says the best. I'm going to go, this is the best, Jerry, the best. And if you know what TV show that is from, leave it in the comments below. It is my favorite show. I quote that all the time. Anytime anything is the best, I say it's the best, Jerry, the best. Anytime anything is the worst, I probably say the worst, but the quote is really the best. Okay, so if you know what that's from, make me happy and write it in the comments below. I'll leave you a clue in the description below to what TV show it is from. So... It has two tablespoons, which is standard for a mixed nut butter, 180 calories, 16, per, uh, 16 grams of fat to 2% are saturated fat, which means that the other 14, I would say, are basically monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat, which are excellent for you, especially if you're trying to like lose belly weight. Oops, I hear. So uh, carbs, eight grams of carbs, three grams of fat fiber and one gram of sugar. So we'll just go with one gram of sugar and that's five grams of net carbs. That's awesome. I don't know about you, but oh, oh, that that's so good. I was carb cycling about a year ago and the fact that I didn't have to give up peanut butter and mixed nut butter, oh, kind of saved me. Oh man, it feels so good. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. And so I'm kind of shocked that it has one sugar. It probably comes from the cashews. I feel like the sweetness comes from that. And I'm totally fine with that, obviously. I don't care. I don't care where it comes from. But it's got a really good sweetness. And I like that. It's thin. It's runny, you know, like where I'll mix it all up and I could take it on my spoon and it doesn't fall off like, you know, like water. It's maybe a little thicker than honey. You know, sometimes it just kind of slumps off because it's heavy, you know, but sometimes I'm like, you know, kind of shaking it, trying to get it off of my spoon. But I love that it's thin like that because I like to drizzle it over yogurt. Certain flavors of yogurt are so amazing with this. If you want me to do a separate video on all of the different recipes that I put this on for my yogurt specifically, let me know. I will totally make that for you guys. My favorite way to eat this is three ways.
The first way is yogurt, obviously. The second way is on apples. I don't know why it's so good on apples. And the third is like just a spoonful of it, you know, where you just kind of like want something. Maybe you eat dinner and you want a little something sweet. You know, maybe you're just like a tidbit still a little hungry or you have a little bit of an appetite and you don't want to eat dessert or anything like really crazy and you just have like a spoonful of this. That's the other way that I like to eat it. So anyway, I love five net carbs, one gram of sugar, and six tablespoons of protein. Can't stress how important protein is for you. I mean, if you're counting macros or whatever, like that's good information to know, but basically I'm just telling you that it's delicious and I love it. And it's only the four ingredients plus salt that it says it is on the front. I mean, come on, you can't get better than that. Hang on, I still need to read off of this. So it is the Hampton Farms All Natural Stir and Enjoy Mixed Nut Butter. It is made in a peanut free facility. That's kind of cray. Wow, good for them. It is non GMO also, but it's like the simplest thing. It's so delicious. And so you can see on this new one that I haven't opened yet. I'm gonna open it right now. You know, totally new. And the whole top of it is just straight up oil. It's one of those that separates on the counter, you know, the more, the, the less that you use it. Which is fine. That makes me feel good about it. It's like there's no preservatives, there's no deflocculants, there's nothing in it that makes it stay, um, you know, like mixed and homogenized or whatever. You know what I mean? So I really like that, but it's a pain in the butt <laughs> to have to mix this thing. I was mixing it for like, ooh, it felt like 10 minutes yesterday to, to, and when I opened up my new one, it felt like 10 minutes to really mix up all of this and get the bottom, you know, the bottom has got to be the driest. And so I actually like, I'll put it on its side sometimes, or I'll put it upside down and, you know, I'll try to shake it, try to, which doesn't really work, but I do it anyway <laughs> to try. You see it's starting to move around and it makes it a little bit easier to mix. Um, so if I'm in a big hurry and it's a new can, I can't, new jar, I just simply can't use it. But once you mix it the first time, every other time it never gets this separated. You have to stir it up. It does go back to being thin, but it's never this thin. So that's fine. You know what I mean? You just have to dedicate some time, dedicate some, I don't know, trap, maybe, or maybe your triceps, maybe some delt work to really get it mixed up really good the first time. And then after that, it's a quick, and then you enjoy. So another favorite of this month. I have been seriously enjoying all of my different yogurt flavors with blackberries and peaches and all. If you want a video, I'll talk about it separately. You don't, you don't need to hear me going on about it right now. So my next item is a food item and oh, it is yogurt because it goes so well with my mix, mixed nut butter, you know, uh, Faye. Really, I want the full fat, but they like don't make it anymore, I guess, because people think full fat is bad for you, but it's not. Okay, so this is 5% milk fat. I don't need anything lower than 5%. I really want full fat. If anybody knows where I can get full fat, let me know because full fat is where it's at. And that sounds like an Aristocat song, but we'll move on anyway. So I love my Faye Greek yogurt. When I first started eating Greek yogurt, I hated it. It tasted like sour cream to me, which I can't stand. But if you look at the nutritional values of like all other yogurt, they're terrible. They're all sugar and like, I, I don't know. I just I can't, you know, Greek yogurt. Listen, listen to this. Three quarters of a cup is 15 grams of protein, five carbs, five sugars, nine grams of fat, saturated fat is six, cholesterol 30, whatever, sodium 60 milligrams, um, potassium 6%, calcium 15%, fine, whatever. I eat this because I'm not counting calories. I look at sugar, I look at protein, I want high protein. This keeps me full and it's so unbelievably versatile. Sometimes I'll just eat this plain. I just want a oh, good, good spoonful of this plain. It is delicious. And then sometimes I'll jazz it up with a mixed nut butter or my peanut butter and I'll put some raspberries on it or I'll make like a banana chocolate yogurt, peanut butter. I left out the peanut butter, banana chocolate peanut butter yogurt. 
that is amazing. <laughs> so versatile. It's so easy. I don't remember how much it is, but you get it on sale and it's worth it. And there's a total of six servings per container. I've been really enjoying my yogurt this month. Um, I've been eating yogurt pretty much every day for, um, I'd say at least a year. There was a little while that I stopped eating it for just a little while. I don't remember why. I think it was maybe allergy season or something and I got a little congested or whatever. So I've really been enjoying it this month. If you don't like Greek yogurt, do what I did. I had to slowly ease into it, you know, like dipping your toe in a pool. So I would take the one that I liked, like Yoplait or Activia, and I would take that and I would mix it with this. And it would be like, fine, it was like mild version of the other yogurt until I got used to that. And then I thought that was delicious. And then I just slowly added more of this and less of that until I thought that this was delicious on its own. And now I'm never looking back. Jack. I'm not like hating on any brand. I don't mean to like tank anybody's stocks here or whatever, but Yoplait and Activia and all the other brands that I love, oh, so good. They just have like a ton of sugars and a ton of stuff in it. The ingredients on this is grade A pasteurized milk and cream, like live active yogurt cultures, something, 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 something. And that's it. <laughs> there's no sugar. There's no partially hydrogenated whatever. There's no xanthan gum. There's none of this other nonsense in it. It's, you know, it's pretty simple, you know, and so I love it. So moving on to the next thing, which reminds me, if you're liking this video, give me one of these thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. It's your call, not mine. So the last thing is this backpack. Oh, look at her. Isn't she so pretty? Oh, she's beautiful. I love her. I don't know if you can see, but it's iridescent and it's co changes color from like purple to green. And oh, I love this backpack so much. I got it on Amazon. Duh. I saw someone, I think I was in Joanne's Fabrics and I saw someone with this backpack or a similar one. It might've been all black. And I was like, that is a cool backpack. And so I went to the Google and typed in geometric backpack. And I think I saw the one in black and I was like, that's a really cool backpack. And then I saw this one. And I was like, <laughs> look at that. Oh, bam. So beautiful. So my negatives, so I forgot this is still a product review video. My negative things, I'm going to start negative and we're going to end positive is, um, the straps. They're kind of like a car seatbelt strap, which is fine. It's great. It's wide, whatever. It's more of like the metal because the metal happens to hit my collarbone perfectly in a bad way. So when I put it on, I can't walk around with the one strap unless I hate myself, which I don't. And the, the metal just digs into my clavicle here. I have to have it on both sides. Otherwise it's just way too painful. It's just a metal straight on my collarbone here. So I have to wear it on both sides, which you probably should anyway. All the chiropractors are like, what? You know, whatever. You should wear it on both sides anyway. But if I'm just walking to my car for like from my front door, I don't need to put it on both sides. We're talking about like 27 steps, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still have to because it just hurts too much. I don't love that it doesn't have those other kind of straps, you know, like where the tassels hang down and you could pull them because I'm always trying, like I always have to like move it down and then move it up versus the other backpack where you just zoop and it's exactly where you want it to be. But then again, this one is definitely more stylish. It's more fashionable. Um, it looks sleeker that it doesn't have that little like drawstring strap thing. But I'm just mentioning it in case you're like, what, there's no strap deal breaker, forget it. Okay, just want you to know. My main gripe is more about it hurting my clavicle, but it's not a deal breaker. I still bring this beauty with me every day. Um, the other thing, is that it's one big section, which is cool. It looks good design wise. You know, there's not this one little weird fanny pack pocket sticking out of the front belly of your um, backpack. But I really like having a little compartment in my backpack. You know what I mean? I can put my sketchbook. I could put uh, pencils. I could put some cash if I wanted to, or what else do I use? I don't know, a USB, my car keys, gum, whatever, things like that in my small pocket, which I really like. 
Not a deal breaker for me though, because I still use this backpack, but there's no little pocket like that. What it does have instead is a divider. Excuse the mess that is in my backpack, okay? So it has like the main section and then it has a divider here. So you could put a laptop or folders. It does have technically two sort of compartments, which is fine. I really appreciate that it has this. If it didn't, I would, I don't know. I mean, I, I probably still use the backpack, but I wouldn't like it as much. This divider really helps me out. And then it does have the zipper here. I feel like that's super helpful to have the zipper here because at least you do have some zipper. You could put whatever your cash, like certain lipsticks that you, you know, don't want to fly off and lose accidentally out of your bag. I like that it has a zipper at least somewhere. And then it has these two little sections, sorry, excuse me, uh, two little sections in the front. This is probably really hard for you to see, but whatever. It's got these little pockets in the front. Um, and so I'll put, let's see, what do I have in here? Oh, my car keys! Oh, I thought I lost these. Not lost, just misplaced. I thought I used them and then put them somewhere. All right, we're good. Finding my car keys. Yeah. That sucked. Okay. So anyway, uh, I got a hair tie. I got a USB, you know, that's, you know, it's got a good, it's about that wide. <laughs> so two pockets, which is super helpful. Everything else, I'm like, okay, we're just going to sit in here. So it's, it's kind of a negative thing that it doesn't have that separation, but I love that it has this pocket. I can put my laptop in here, no problem. It does at least have these two little pockets that you would have, like if you have like a Jansport backpack, they always have like those little pockets within the pocket, most of them you know, and it has a zipper. So it's lightweight, it's not heavy, and it's gorgeous. I, if you want to feel like a cool person around campus, get yourself one of these. I cannot tell you how many compliments I get on my backpack, and I'm like, I know, right? Isn't she gorgeous? I'm so freaking happy. I love it. I love that it's like geometric, but it's soft, it bends, the iridescent color is amazing. If you look at it in a photo on Amazon, it does have this yellow um, and pink sort of tint to it. And it kind of doesn't do that in person. And I'm really okay with that. I'm not a big yellow person. So I'm like, oh, that's fine. It's almost like too much. I like when it looks like this, when it's like purplish, bluish green and kind of like that. I love that. When it gets to the yellow, I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to hate on it. I just kind of wish it still might always look like this. So if you look at the picture, it doesn't look exactly like the picture all the time. It looks like this more often than not. In certain lights, it looks like the picture. If I leave it on my stairs and I come up, maybe it's like if it's like this angle or something because I'm looking down at it from my staircase or the light's hitting it correctly, that's when it really goes yellow. So I haven't named this backpack yet and I kind of feel like I should because I like to name things that I love that makes them feel more personal. You might think it's dumb or you're like insane or something, but it's not. You'll take better care of things that have a name that you love enough to put a name on it. You don't want to just like fling it, you know, anywhere like Miranda Priestly. Does she love her purses and her coats? I feel like, like she's like, Emily's there like writing with a pen and she just flings her coat on it. Girl, you could be getting ink on your like $800 designer jacket. You don't care, whatever, whatever. If you know what I'm talking about, write it in the comments below. So you're going to take care of your stuff because you named it and it's special to you. And it carries all of your stuff. It keeps your stuff safe. So I'm thinking about calling her Lady Glitter Sparkles seriously because of the movie. Should I tell you what movie it's from? Mm, no, I'm not going to tell you what movie it's from. If you know what movie it's from, leave it in the comments below. I want, I want to know if you love that movie as much as I do. Oh, the second one. Oh man. I have watched both of them at least 10 times each. I like both of them for different reasons, but the second one, <laughs> anyway, Lady Glitter Sparkles is from the first one. Lady Glitter Sparkles, seriously, is from the first one. So I'm thinking about calling her Lady Glitter Sparkles or Lady for short or seriously, because I think that's cute and kind of like, if you don't know who Lady Glitter Sparkles is, you could still just be like, seriously, like seriously, like how awesome is that backpack? Or L G S S. Yeah, I don't know. L G S S. I mean, what would that even sound like? But anyway, if you have an idea for what I can name her, let me know. I'm totally open to it. So if you want to be cool, if you want to look cool, 
just hit myself in the face with this cool backpack. <laughs> um, Amazon, you know, it's gorgeous. I love it. I get over it. every single flaw, say that it has hurt in my clavicle, doesn't have a second compartment. Um, it's fine. I don't care. It has its divider. It has a zipper. These are comfortable aside from that on my clavicle. Um, it's gorgeous. So all of the negatives outweigh because I just love it so much. Here, me lady, glitter, sparkles, seriously. <sighs> yeah. So those are my favorite things from the month of May. All of the products that I have really been enjoying. I will try to leave you some links below for where I got all of them. The mixed nut butter is definitely from BJ's. I don't know if I could leave a link to that in Faye. I feel like, you know, they sell it everywhere, like except for BJ's. Like, come on, BJ's. Like, they only sell, like, the low-fat one, and I don't want the low-fat one. If you try any of these products, please let me know. I would love to know if you agree with me and think that these products are great and think that they should have been worth making it to my May favorite things list, but... I mean, two of them we're talking about color here. Love the colors. And then the other ones are flavor. And then the backpack is style. It just looks so awesome. It feels so awesome. I am awesome. Too far? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It's been fun. I've loved going over my favorite things and telling you about why I like them and breaking them down a little bit more. So if you have anything to add, if you like these products yourself, if you've tried them and you like them, if you try tried them and you don't like them, let me know. If you guys want to see more product reviews or learn how to sell your new or used clothing and non-clothing items online, check out this video right here and I will walk you through the six things that you need to know to decide if you want to become a reseller or not. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and are enjoying today as much as I am. Say goodbye, Mario.